You lose if you don't take advantage of others' experiences. Reach your goal as a content creator faster and safer by studying others' experiences. I will share with you three super important key points I wish I had known earlier in my career so you can learn from my experience and achieve your goal. One major key point made me expand everything and create more, faster and better. I've been creating content for years and this channel is one year and four months old with 4,400 subs at this moment. I make over $1,000 per month with the entire ecosystem around it. Like every creator, I struggle a lot to make things work for me and make some money. I understand how hard it is and I can help. You can implement fast and easy the first key point I wish I understood earlier in my career and this is about audiences. Listen, we can't create online businesses without people. Yes, it's online, but we create content for people want views from people and want people to become our clients, fans or supporters. Everything is around people. We create what we want and like, but we need to present and deliver the value that we want and like in a form that our audience prefers. I always created tutorials and shared my experience in a way I liked and understood clearly, but it never worked. The magic started to happen when I combined what I like and want with what my audience wants and likes. When I broke the barriers between me and the audience, I saw fast growth and money coming. Create what you want and like, but when you finish a script or a video, watch it and for every paragraph, ask a few questions. Is this important for my audience? What do they know right now about this subject? Is this the simplest way I can explain this? What would they like to know? If I create a tutorial about how to set your camera for video, this will be made for people who have a camera, want to shoot video with it and don't know how to set it right. So yes, it's important. What do they know right now about this subject? I will make this video for people who have zero experience and I need to show them how to insert a battery and turn on the camera. Or I will make the video for people who already make videos using auto mode and they want to go to the next level and learn manual mode. Is this the simplest way I can explain this? Take every paragraph and check if that's the simplest language you can use, the simplest way to explain or the shortest way. What would they like to know? If I create this video for total beginners, they will want to learn the basics. If the video is for intermediate users, they will want to learn more advanced things. Put yourself in your audience's shoes as much as you can and change everything to be as useful as possible for your audience. The second key point I wish I had understood earlier, it's about the scary avatar. When you understand how simple and effective this is, you know who you're speaking to. If you know who you're speaking to, you understand how to do it. Every time I heard about creating an avatar or started to create an avatar, I was freezing trying to complete some tables created by others where they go crazy about everything. If you search templates about avatars, most of them will tell you that you need to go in depth about everything. Of course, we have demographics, age, gender, income, where they live, marital status and so on, and psychographics, interest and hobbies, lifestyle and how they enjoy spending their time. But when we try to create this avatar, we encounter a lot of problems like how should I know how they enjoy spending their time. As an example, for my channel about content creation, I can say that they like to travel and discover new places every weekend. This might sound good at first glance, thinking that they will shoot and create content. But my channel is about creating talking head videos and educational business content. Yes, travelers create content, but this doesn't fit my audience. Instead, I can say people who like to spend time documenting, learning new things and enjoy educating themselves and sharing with others. Good, this fits my channel. But let's go in depth. What shows do they like to watch on TV? 
and here we can freeze and think that we don't know how to create the avatar. How should I know what shows they watch on TV? What if we live on the other side of the planet? We don't watch the same thing. And the main point is this. Create the avatar as much as you can, but don't freeze or think that you don't know how to do it because you don't know how to fill all the gaps. Yes, it's nice to know all those insights about your audience, but most of the time we can't have all the info. An old big business with a ton of clients from the past can run surveys and find out things about their clients, but we, at least at the beginning, don't have any info. So don't get stuck. Make as much as you can. And one more important thing, don't think that you have just one avatar. No, you can create a general one for your entire audience in your niche, but you can create a specific one for every video. As an example, my channel is for creators, but one creator knows how to set the camera and another one doesn't. Both are under the same general avatar, creators but some of them are at one level, others at another level. I do this important thing before every video. I respond to a few questions. What is this video about? Make a clear, short sentence about this. Who are you talking to? What is this video about should be a good fit for who you are talking to. What's the purpose of the video? The purpose should serve the people you are talking to. What are the main points? The points should help achieve the purpose more easily. What's important to show? The elements are important to help complete the main point. I will show you the example of this video on the screen right now to see how simple it is. These important short responses will help you a lot to know how to speak because you know who you're speaking to. But keep things simple, understand the importance of this and don't get lost in too many details. And if you find this video useful, don't forget to press the like button and consider subscribing. Thank you. Now, the most important key point that will help you expand everything and create more, faster and better is this. Script writing for your videos. This is my story. I'm a big fan and I will always be of speaking freely in front of the camera. For years, all my videos were recorded without scripts. I like to connect with you and speak to you directly. But discovering scripting changed my approach and I understand how to use this in my advantage and your advantage. But here is a catch. If you script your videos, I don't care if you speak freely after that or you read from a teleprompter. If you script them, you automatically have more content. You can transform this into a newsletter, blog article, or create tweets. You already have the content. You will grow a lot by creating scripts, expanding and delivering more value easier, faster, and better. You can also check, like we talked about earlier, if everything is properly adjusted for your audience. But my advice is this, practice speaking freely in front of the camera and after script your video. I was lucky and forced myself to avoid scripts and teleprompters and I managed to be able to make a video freely without preparation. This gives me confidence, makes me natural in front of the camera and makes me free to create more and be closer to you, my audience. You won't be able to make a video without a teleprompter if you start with scripts and teleprompters. You will be forced to find a teleprompter every time you want to create a video. For me, this is madness and super uncomfortable. Start and create freely without scripts and teleprompters. And after you can speak in front of the camera and make one or two videos, do it however you want. But you will be able to create without that teleprompter if you need to or if you want. There's nothing wrong with using teleprompters, but I don't recommend being dependent on it. I rarely saw creators starting with teleprompters and after one or two years speaking freely. But all creators who started freely can do it. And if they want to improve things, use teleprompters because the script is more precise and helps to create more content not because they can't speak freely in front of the camera. This will transform your vibe and it's super important, makes you more confident and precise and 
gives you the power to create more and better. But you can master all these three key points and still have problems when it comes to growth if you don't take care of the next step that's crucial for every creator. I have a dedicated video about my experience with this huge decision that will help you clarify this point and see results faster.